Greetings all. The devious monkey here. Let me turn around this way. There. Okay. So I'm out at Pleasure House Point walking around. I am absolutely miserable. I have a pounding headache and I'm almost dizzy that my, you know, my head hurts so bad. So I took a couple ibuprofen. I had a protein shake just to get some you know, food into my system and try to get my blood sugar up. And uh, I'm still miserable. And I thought to myself, well, I can either lay in the house and maybe half fall asleep and then wreck my sleep again tonight, or I can get the hell up and start you know, doing something, anything. So I decided I was gonna come out and get some fresh air and sunshine. So this was the place I haven't been in a while and I thought I'd do that here. There are a ton of people out here today. In fact, there are, I, I, as I went to go park where I normally park, there was no parking. And I thought, okay, screw it, I'll just drive around the block and I'll park on the street and I'll go in from the other side. And as I was walking to get to the start of the path, there was a woman in her car and she saw me you know, carrying my gear and she's like, excuse me, are you here for the photo meetup? And I was like, uh, I'm gonna have to say no, I, I don't know anything about that. Although I have seen a lot of people walking around with gear and she's you know, asking me if there was another place, another way to get in and I tried to direct her to the parking lot that I had just come from because there was a big group there. So that basically means there's a ton of people walking around here. I've already passed a couple doing a baby photo shoot and then another group of people, they had a bunch of gear, I don't know what they were shooting. Uh, you know, So they're everywhere. There's lots of people out here. But as you can see, I mean, it's gorgeous back here. It is a little chilly today. I mean, it's maybe 50 degrees, but more importantly, there's a constant breeze. So it makes it, uh, it feels colder than it really probably is. And once I start walking around, I'll be fine. All right, hold on a second. I got to redo these legs. Too hard to hold this damn thing. Okay, there we go. It's a little bit better. Oh, hold on. Let me vlog this setup here. There. Oh, oh, that's ever so much better. Okay, so lots of stuff has been happening. This week, again, was kind of a light week for work in that I, I didn't have any like massive crazy deadlines. Although there was a lot of work to do, it didn't involve you know crazy, crazy stuff and filling out 50 billion forms, which y'all know how much I love. So it was a nice week. It was unfortunate that it was such a light week work-wise that it was such a shit week weather-wise because I never really got to go outside and play Meh, you know, I guess that's the way it goes. This coming week, I think it's not supposed to rain, but it's only going to be in the 50s. So it is, still isn't, it's still not nice, which is unfortunate because it should be nice, damn it, so I can go out and play. The one thing about coming back here is that the, the paths, like the main paths, are, are bordered by water. So there's no cutting through cutting across or anything like that. I basically, I have to walk all the way around until I find a spot where there's a path for me to go in a different direction. And sometimes you gotta walk a long way to get there. All right, so now I'm definitely off the beaten path. I am walking maybe on, on game trail type stuff instead of the actual trails that are around here which is fine, unless a bear comes out at me. But at least I'll get it on film. This is another one of those things that I feel like I should probably just not talk and just walk around and show you nature. So let's do that. See, now we're coming up on the road here where I parked. I already know that there's gonna be a ton of people over there because I already watched people walk by walking their dogs. So we'll go over here and take this other game trail, which will take us up the other side of this water. Maybe, oh shit, it's flooded. Hmm, hmm, oh, okay. So, fuck, are you kidding me? So. Here's the walking path. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. Yeah. Let me go up around this way. I don't know if this is going to work. <laughs> Looks like people did some work around. Now I come back here all the time because in my head, there are some great places that I could imagine with certain people doing photo shoots. The problem though, is that there are so many people back here that, you know, there, a, a lot of chance for interruption, gawkers and what have you. I guess you have to, I'd like to say come at the right time, but what does that mean? That was fun. Did you watch me almost fall into the water? There, I got a nice nature Instagram post out of that. <sighs> I think probably it was a bad idea to carry my bag and have it looped across my shoulder because that isn't helping much either. And I also think that my glasses and the hat are also adding to my headache. So here you see it, dumbass galore, doing everything possible to make this headache worse and to last longer. But I am outside getting some vitamin D and some fresh air and enjoying the peacefulness of nature. The only bad thing about this area is that it's very close to Shore Drive, you know, and you can't get away from hearing the sound of traffic. Win some, lose some. The other thing about this is that I so glad that I ended up buying this 10 to 18 again for the A6600 so that I can walk around and do this because it's just magnificent to have all this in screen. I think though it gives me a false sense of stabilization and that I'm looking at the screen and it looks like it's great, but when I take it home and I get it on the computer, I'm like, oh God, that sucks, I can't use that. Which I think is one of those instances of me beating myself up too much. It's a walking, talking vlog. You know, I mean, what can you do? I mean, I could put it on a gimbal, but that isn't really conducive to what I wanted to do here. So I guess this is what you get. And it's not like I don't watch other vlog style videos that people's footage will probably look like this and worse. So whatever, it, you know, I can't always be sitting in my studio with proper lighting and audio and this, that, and the other thing. So you're going to start seeing a lot more of this though, because once it starts to get nicer out, and nicer, it doesn't even have to be that warm, although that would help. It just has to not be pissing rain because I do not want to get out and then be trapped in the rain. Some people love that. They love to go out and shoot in the rain. I don't. Here's people's. <laughs> Adorable. It's a one-year-old birthday photo shoot. Okay, more people coming. So that was just, I just wanted to take a little jaunt, get some fresh air and try to work on this headache. I definitely think that, that the hat and the glasses and the strap and all that kind of stuff, definitely dumb monkey. Dumb monkey time. So that's off. I'm not gonna wear that shit. Of course, now my eyes are all messed up because I can't see as well, but that's all right. Now I gotta go buy hot dog buns and relish so that we can have hot dogs for dinner because I forgot to get hot dog buns. At this point now, definitely I know the gear that I'm gonna, gonna be buying soon. Now I just have to wait for certain things to happen first and then I can order all that delicious new goodness. And then I need to start doing more actual photo shoots with human beings in addition to more walks like this 
to get more natural goodness and everything. So I have a couple of people in mind that are local that, that I'm going to reach out to, but not until I know that the gear is on the way or here and I get it set up and tested and know that it's good enough to do that. So I don't want to book a photo shoot and have, you know, the lens be messed up or the camera be messed up or whatever. And I got to send it back or any of that kind of shit, but that's coming soon. And I need to rewire my brain and stop saying that I don't like working with human beings and all that kind of stuff and just get over it. And then I need to work with the right human beings so that I don't get jaded like I have in the past. So that being said, if you're a decent human being and you want to do a photo shoot, reach out to me. We'll make it happen. All right, enough rambling. Well, that's all I got today. Got to go get my hot dog buns and have dinner and just chill. It's been ghoulie night. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.